Okay, so it's now Jay's what's in the bag. Um, we're in his garden because of the competition today uh, at the club. Like we're gonna do, we were, were gonna do uh, shots as well, like the last one. Uh, so we start off with Jay. We're going from wedges uh, up to driver out of his bag. Uh, yeah, when you're ready, start right, with wedges. So from the wedges, I have four wedges, including my pitching wedge. Um, I've got a 52 and a 60 in a Cleveland CG 15. Um, the 52 degree has 10 degrees of bounce, the 60 degree has 12 degrees of bounce. Um, they are both in just the stock regular Cleveland shaft, nothing special, uh, just stock Cleveland grips. Um, I'll be looking to upgrade these soon, I've had them for a while. Um, they are, I think they are a little bit, I think they're an inch longer than standard wedges. I'll be looking to upgrade these, I'm maybe going to go to the um, Callaway Mac Daddy threes. Because um, I've seen a lot of good reviews about them, so they have caught my eye, so you might see them in the near future. Um, to fill that gap between those two, I've got a Mizuno MPT series, a 56 degree. It's 14 degrees of bounce, so quite a lot of bounce in this one just a chrome finish, um, stock dynamic gold R300 shaft, stock grip, nothing special. And then, um, so that's my wedges. On to my irons. I still have the same as last time. Uh, I have some Callaway Razor X HLs. Um, the irons, um, yeah, like I said, I'm looking to upgrade these very soon. Um, I got these when I first started playing golf, which was probably about two and a half years ago. So. These are for our very high handicap, and so they're not suited to my game at the moment, but there'll be a new video on them probably soon. Um, and I have that five to pitch and wedge. Right, so the next club in the bag um, is a four hybrid in the TaylorMade Burner. Um, TaylorMade Burner 2.0, super fast. It's a very, very old club. It used to be Pete's. I bought it off him when I started playing golf. Um, and I've had it in the bag for a long time. Last one, last what's in the bag you saw, I had a Cobra one, but I just don't get along with that at all. So I put this one back in the bag, um, and it's just does miracles around the course. Um, old Dilla NV regular shaft, but it's cut down, so it's probably nearer to a stiff. Um, 65 grams, uh, just a standard multi compound. Golf Pride grip on there, red and black one, nothing special. Um, this is a 21 degree, so it's back four hybrid. Um, I'll be looking to replace this with a three and a four iron soon because I'll be getting some new irons and I'll get that up to a four iron and then I'll get a three iron separate. Um, right, this next club up is the same as last time Cobra Biocell, grey, free wood. Um, got a Project X regular shaft in it, uh, 60 grams, mid torque, nothing really much to say about this, it's, I hit it really well but I just don't like the club, um, I'll be getting a new one soon hopefully, so yeah that's it, I've got it set in 15.5 degrees in a draw setting, um, nothing special, head cover, um, right so the next club in the bag is the big stick. This is the one that was one day old when you saw the what's in the bag last time. Um, still TaylorMade M2. Absolutely love this club. I don't know how long it will be until I change, but um, still got a stock grip on it. Need to change it soon. It's starting to get a little bit slippery. Um, stiff flex shaft in a Fuji Kura one. Um, Got it set at the moment in a nine and a half degree. Oh, sorry, ten degrees. Um, the standard is ten point five. Yeah. Um, so that's that one, same as last time. Right. So next club in the bag is brand new. Probably about about three months old now. Well, not brand new, but still quite new to me. Um, is a TaylorMade OS Daytona 12. OS is the oversized um, in a blade. Uh, I believe Garcia used this for a little bit. Um, it's got a super stroke mid slim 2.0, so a little bit fatter than 
Pete's grip, but I still get a decent amount of feel around the greens with it. Um, love this at the moment. It's my putting has improved so much. My putting was my weakest part of my game by an absolute mile, and now I have been injured for a while, so my putting has improved because that's all I can really do at the moment. Um, so yeah, just a stock tailor made, quite nice head cover. And yeah, right, so I'll do a golf ball quickly. Sorry if I'm out of shot. Um, this one's a bit scuffed up, but it's just the tailor made Pro V1, which is what I'm using at the moment. Um, got a couple of brand new ones in here. Um, so yeah, just mark it with a black line, one black dot. Um, Range finder is Nikon Cool Shot 40, so just one model newer than Peter's. Nothing special, don't need a bush now. Does what it does. <laughs> Yardages don't need anything else. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. So Thanks, Jay. Uh, let's see what's in the bag. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. So, that's Jay's watch in the bag. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. And, yeah, make sure you leave a comment. Bye. because <laughs> I let this pass yeah. again. Next one in the bag is a hybrid. Uh, this is a TaylorMade Burner hybrid. It's in a full hybrid. I just said hybrid, so no need time.